okay guys come around so lean on each other so you're kind of leaning on each other now so no matter what it's like we're leaning and moving so we have to do two things before I said roll on each other and move on the ground now lean on each other and move you don't have to worry which way it can be like chest to chest it can be low high we can connect with the leg I can't even so now when your partner leans on you right try to see if you can I don't know if you can bring him to the ground uh, kind of like safely so you want to don't want to throw him to the ground but you want to somehow nicely bring him down so you, you want to help him down so somebody friend hit you you start to bring him down you don't want to just drop him you want to slowly bring him down if you can so he leans a little bit and you start to right away see how you can uh, bring the person down so watch one person's on the ground and touch the legs and for you no matter where he moves he can go anywhere you have to always uh, be in contact with the legs so if my hand leaves my leg can go I have to always kind of know where his legs are but don't trip him don't take him down just barely touch and you can go away a little bit yeah you can yeah yeah you can. He can go away, I have to stay with him. Wow. No, depending on the, your partner's skills, you can go away faster. Mark. Push me over a little bit now, yeah, with the foot, yeah. So your partner can kind of push you over now. So just be cool, let them kind of push you down. <laughs> You need to just exactly feel the spot of pressure and then you let it go. Like you get rid of it, right? So it's like you let it go. And then you have to, if you relax, the hands... <laughs> no, the, the hands have to be loose, right? That's why you did all this work. So similar idea, just a, a little bit away from the wall, fist now, and your part, push me, yeah, push me on the wall, good. And first, don't resist it, just like the kick. You let the person kick you over. So now you, you let the person push you to the wall. And it can be from the side, even from the front. And then later you'll start to see the game will be, I, I, I'm trying not to get pushed to the wall. Come. So the push comes, it's one, and then you're going forward. You have like one and a small break, and then a two. It should feel like you're, you, you, the guy is going this way, I'm going this way. We, we're crossing paths. Well, I didn't stop him. Look, because if for a moment, if I stop him, that second hand for sure is going to come right away. If he sees a stop in the movement. But if he doesn't see a stop in the movement, the second hand won't come. Just watch it, Jay. Watch it, okay? So then, if I can get by and get to him, it's great. Then I still haven't done any work yet. <laughs> now I can start to move. Can I, I hit? <laughs> <laughs> so if your partner is pushing you and you have a hard time going forward okay guys that's just you have tension that's all there's nothing more than that he pushed you and you're not relaxed something in your back pulls you would you mark come it's kind of like this push push mark. it's like this it's like something's <laughs> pulling you backwards all the time so when the pushes come really check your body like first check your body that you're relaxed and then you start to go forward and then you start to go forward so don't be I guess some of you I see you frustrated you, I, I was like ah, oh, you, you can't get or you start to kick the person relax a little bit just you'll start to see you need to have great sensitivity right on contact as soon as you feel it you have to slip it 